Philip, welcome to Concert Classical Guitars. If you want a loud guitar, here he is. This is the latest guitar made by our good friend Andreas Medimenos in Greece. And um, I have to admit that this guitar is a bit different from the last guitars that we had. So. This guitar is a lattice brace guitar that has a very, very unique voice. Uh, it has a cedar top, a very clear uh, color of the cedar here. Very nice rosette with the um, kind of reddish under and very very cool rosette uh, very small bridge rosewood bridge with a 12 volt time block looks like the australian bridge but uh, this time on this guitar there's a more modern uh, kind of take because we have the 12 volt time block um, so the the string is raising from the hole without being strangulated by by itself and and it goes up to the so there's more angle so more angle is so it's stays more on the top and uh, there's more definition to the to the sound um there's some uh, inlay here around the top very very nice uh, the armrest is almost a work of art. It's super, super comfortable. This one is a little bit different. So when you have um, an armrest on your guitar, it's not here to be comfortable. It's not here to look pretty. It's here to... Uh, the top of the guitar is thicker at the, in, the, in the center and then it's very thin at the edges. 
and um, the bass frequencies are at the edge of the guitar, at the top of the guitar. So when you have um, no armrest, when you put your arm, then you you damp the top, so you have less. Um, there's maybe this uh, area without uh, vibration, so you lose a little bit of the. The, 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 the vibration of the top, so less basses too. So w with the armrest, though it's comfortable, but you don't touch the top. So the top is all free to move. Anyway, on this guitar, there's a very cool um, elevated fingerboard, extra C note. Uh, also, there's a carbon frame under the top, uh, carbon bars on the on the back and the back and side are of uh, this magnificent cocobello cocobolo so this is uh, an amazing piece of wood uh, if you like cool guitar with just looking a little bit different cocobolo is a, it's a gorgeous wood because uh, it's kind of a reddish tint uh, with the sapwood on this guitar, uh, also uh, here you have some the sapwood and uh, very cool. Also, there's some inlay around the, the the back here. The neck on this guitar plays super great. It's like a um, C shape. Um, around here in the middle so very very comfortable smooth uh, work here on the edge stock you can notice there are some pagos tuning machine with the red uh, buttons so no pagos pagos and uh, they fit well with the red cobolo and the red rosette of course the face of the headstock is also cobolo beautiful guitar very very cool guitar so this one compared to the the one we had before is a little smaller here so it gives it a more six year cool curve uh, maybe and um, makes it a little smaller box here so very comfortable when you play it and and it's much lightweight so there's less weight on this guitar the top is a little arched like this so well, the guitar has a very modern uh, modern shape and it's uh, super comfortable it's a lot uh, there's a lot of uh, resonances and because of the carbon frame with the carbon frame you have a lot of uh, overtones There are some uh, Dadaio uh, regular nylon strings for the basses and uh, Regal uh, Augustine uh, nylon strings for the trebles because there's a lot of reserve of power, you can play with nylon strings on the, uh, on the trebles. So it adds some smoothness to the trebles. With that kind of guitar, a lot of people are asking, well, why should I buy a loud guitar like this? I'm not playing concert. Of course, if you play concerts, you, you will need a guitar like this. But um, if you play at home or you give lessons or just for the pleasure, uh, when you play on your guitar, most of the guys that don't spend their life on stage so they spend hours at home even if you play concerts you play mostly at home and you prepare the concert so this is the same thing the benefit of having a loud guitar or a guitar that can be loud is you can play quietly and have a roundness that you will never have on another guitar so for example I just almost don't touch the strings. So I don't get 
tired playing like this, it's very easy to play like this. The thing is, when you just do one intention by playing just a little stronger on one note, that note be bigger than the others. So if you have to have a melody that is out of the accompaniment, it's really easy on that kind of guitar. For example, if I play all the basses, to a, a traditional guitar you will have to be stronger to have the melody out even for the trebles of course if I play just uh potential to be very loud and also you you play you play quietly and the sound is full everywhere and not aggressive for the basses the big basses you 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 just expect that kind of sound with the lattice brace guitar very big very deep too very close to the, the Australian school of uh, guitars uh, that have uh, the lattice brace guitar and a G string very sweet the 
sound is pretty even from string to string. A lot of uh, sparkling overtones. Like you have uh, a little river behind you and the uh, first string. So if I play the melody with the basses, and you feel all the sounds around. is a step higher on this guitar um, lightweight guitar um, beautiful choice of woods of course if the guitar is pretty you will love her you will love her more and um, a lot of possibilities with the tone as I explained just before can be very warm or and the, of course if you play strong everything it's super loud but be careful with the neighbors. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new guitars.